The word obsession encompasses the mindset of everyone at Mossy Oak. We obsess over hiding from, chasing, and conserving the critters we pursue. In this episode, we follow Mossy Oak's own Neil Hayes as we dive into his obsession over turkeys and turkey hunting. This is The Obsessed. Yeah, growing up Mississippi and Alabama, I really feel like I have a deep appreciation for, you know, where turkey hunting came from, um, being kind of where the origins of modern day turkey hunting began. No matter where I go, northwest, southwest, southeast, northeast, midwest, you know, I carry that, that love and passion for turkey hunting. And it doesn't matter where I am, if there's a, a long beard and he's gobbling and he's coming in and he's strutting and he's drumming, and doing all that, it doesn't matter if I'm hunting a Mary, a Maria, an Eastern, an Osceola, it doesn't matter. No matter what, it just, I completely fall apart like I'm seven years old again and lose my breath and my heart's beating and I feel like it's gonna jump out of my chest. All that is uh, definitely something I get from my grandfather. Uh, dad does it too, but he, uh, my granddad and I are more similar in that regard is you know the point where you know we just can't keep it together whenever a turkey's coming in and just drumming and you know slipping behind oak trees and weaving in and out through the woods and he and I just cannot handle our nerves whenever that kind of stuff happens. <laughs> the evolution of my you know, personal obsession with turkey hunting you know, started obviously when I was a kid. Uh, you know, dad uh, took us out when we were five years old. You know, the first season we got to go out and hunt. You know, we didn't we didn't take a gun yet. You know, he just wanted us to get out in the woods and he wanted to just kind of teach us, you know, follow, me, follow my footsteps, you know, pick your feet up, don't drag your feet. You know, when you're walking through the water, you know, point your toe down and like all these little tips, always walk in the shade. You know, whenever you stop and yelp at a turkey, you know, make sure you, you know, look around and pick your tree out that you're gonna get on in case he gobbles too close. And he taught us to be woodsmen first, to get out and kind of learn how to get around in the woods. And then, you know, six years old, you know, got out first time with a gun, uh, really, really fell in love with it. You know, really got some really close encounters, did not kill one, but it had turkeys 15 yards gobbling. And that really fueled what was to come after that. And I think we were seven years old. The year after that was when I killed my first turkey. My brother had gone out and killed a turkey before me. And as twins, you know, we were obviously competitive. And so I, that didn't sit well with me. And so I think it was like a week or two later, we were down at our camp in Alabama and we had struck out and we were back at the camp 10 o'clock in the morning, you know, hanging out. And I just was so desperate to kill my first turkey. And so I walked out on the porch and pretended like I heard a turkey gobble off the porch. And I told dad, I looked at him and said, dad, I just heard a turkey gobble. Can we go hunt him? He said, really? I said, yeah, he's, he's right over there. I pointed out there and he said, yeah. And I, it was just an absolute bold faced white lie. I just wanted to get out there and go hunt. And so we walk up there and I'm like, you know, not expecting to hear a turkey gobble because I completely made up the story that one gobbled in the first place. And dad and I stopped on this road and yelped and a, I don't know if it's fade or what, but a turkey gobbled is exactly where I made up that a turkey gobbled off the porch. And we sat down and we called that turkey up and I shot him and he was walking up a road and I shot him. I've forgotten turkey hunts here and there in between, but that turkey hunt, uh, I can remember it like it happened yesterday. You know, every year I turkey hunt, I don't think it's possible to become more obsessed with it. And every year I go out in the spring woods, somehow, you know, my hands shake harder and my heart beats faster. And, and every year I just get worse and worse and worse. And I don't know how to contain it or control it. I've tried and my granddad's tried. We were hunting just last week and he was, we had turkeys come up right there and he was shaking me, the tree, the 
camera, the ground, everything around us was shaking because he just could not contain himself. And he's 90 years old. He's turkey hunted for 74 years in a row. I mean, he has seen it all. He's killed, I don't know how many turkeys in his life and seen so many and seen everything you can see in the spring woods. And every single turkey that comes up to him, is, it's like everyone gets worse still. And he's 90, so you know his whole life, I think it's just gotten worse. And, and I'm the same way, I just, you know, this hunt down in Florida, you know, I tell myself every time, but I, and it never works. But I tell myself, turkey gobbles, you first strike him, you know, you're, you're kind of cool, it's, everything's fine. He starts coming in, you get to shaking a little bit, and then bam, oh God. I mean, gobbles, and he's, you know he's about to pop up. And that's when it really starts to fall apart. And the worst for me is whenever he's just behind some brush or something, and he's right out of gun range, and you can hear the drumming, and it's just getting louder and louder. That's what really makes me come apart. Got him. So, you're right behind that building. Right. That's why we do it and that's why we love it. You know, if it did not make us feel like that, if it didn't make me feel like that, I would put my gun up, I would hang my vest up and I wouldn't do it again for the rest of my life. But there's just no possible way that it won't make me feel like that. It's just, turkey just gobbled. Did you hear that? Turkey just hammered. You hear that yelping? Oh, my. Tell you what, dude, look at these spurs. I mean, absolute daggers. That's a fine oh, turkey. That's a fine one. I see a little gobble right there. So yeah, my love for turkey hunting is definitely, it's, it's, it's changed now uh, from the way that I look at it. And now it's not about me anymore. It's about him, my son, and you know, one day getting out there and taking him and teaching him the things that, you know, my granddad and my dad taught us when we were kids, walking through the woods and you know, pick your feet up and and all those little tricks of the trade that they taught us, you know, and I'll never forget any of them. You know, when, when you're a kid, you cling on to every word that your granddad or your dad says and and I did that and I would hope that he would one day and, and um, it's just something that, you know, I didn't really understand how important it would be to me until I just, until he was born. And then it kind of made me realize that, you know, and it hadn't even happened yet, but it just, my mind's turning and I just can't wait to get out. And um, I just want to pass those things on to him. I'm Neil Hayes and I am completely obsessed with turkey hunting.